Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, if you are a Panther owner, don't go through what I just went through. Okay, so I'll try to sum it up. The car's had its own issues and so I had parked in the driveway and I replaced some wiring and so on and so forth. So the one day I said, you know what? All right, I'm gonna drive this car so I can fix my other car. Start the car, it's blowing 140 degree air. I'm not about to have that, I'm not doing it. Not when it's 105 degrees out. So uh, I moved the car over say I'm gonna get this fixed and once I get it fixed I can fix the suspension in my other car I'll be okay I'm looking I'm diagnosing I'm losing my temper I just turned the wrong way to go to the parts store uh, it has been a long day I've been at this all morning I have bypassed the evaporator temperature sensor the AC clutch did not kick in. I bypassed the low pressure switch. The AC clutch did not kick in. I bypassed the high pressure switch. The AC clutch did not kick in. I bypassed the relay. The AC clutch did not kick in. Unplug the air compressor. AC compressor. Plug it directly into jumper wires. Run it to the battery. Click, 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 click. AC compressor clutch works just fine. So I'm like livid. I had already done the self test. I'm, I'm losing my temper. Go inside, take a breath of fresh air. Don't let it beat you. Calm down, everything's fixable. Go outside, continue diagnosing. Well, it's about 100 degrees out. And. I hook up my gauges, there's pressure in the system, and it's equalized. So that's should be the way it is with the car running, with the car not running, without the AC running. You're, if you leave the car overnight and you put gauges on it in the morning, they should be equal. Well, what took me the entire day to figure out, ladies and gentlemen, is that the PATS security system light on the dashboard also has a sun sensor attached to it. I don't know what part of it is what, but I read some of them go bad, sometimes whatever, whatever, and I thought, you know, I wonder. I get in my car, I move the sunshade, the dash, let me do a camera for the shade that goes up against your windshield, the people block the sun from entering their cars so their cars don't so, get so hot. I move the shade from out of the way of that flashing light on our dashboards, Crown Vic and Town Car and Grand Marquis owners. My AC kicked on instantly. All that temper, all that looking, all that work out the window. So before you misdiagnose like I did, make sure that little thing is uncovered. Apparently it'll take out your whole system. It needs sunlight or some type of light to know how intense to kick the, tick, kick the thing on. I don't know if it needs UV light. I don't know. What I do know is I moved my sunshade and my AC turned on. Hope this helps somebody. Be safe. Have a good day. Keep your hopes high. Enjoy.